to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair wipe with pills. So I'm super, super excited to do this video because I know a lot of people are starting off their YouTube channel during quarantine because there's you not know, something really occupying to do. And I have like some very secrets to tell you guys that you can easily move, like you easily do this with iMovie. You can easily do it with loads of like different free apps. And it makes you look like you're using Final Cut Pro and it's so so good and it's a lot of secrets that is coming out so make sure to stick around for the video to get all the secrets and cool tips if you're starting off your YouTube channel so I will have something here as well on some of the clips to try to get you guys to see it so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be iMovie and how you can get like this star effect on your screen and like different writing instead of using, you know like on the writing on iMovie it isn't the best, I only like the transitions on it but it's good for like beginners if you only want to stand do like YouTube channel and not that many people are going to be seeing it but if you want to do this as like a thing where you want to grow up and up. I really really recommend the star filter so basically all you have to do is go onto Google and search up the star effect um, and the star effect green screen and then it'll come up the star effect that you want to get and it's this effect that I will be using and it's really really easy to do this because all you have to do is to screen record it or you can download it but I feel it's easier just to screen record instead of downloading it so I have to do a screen record it and then all you have to do then is go to um back to iMovie then you press on to add clip and you'll add that clip that well wait, I cannot speak all you have to do is add the clip in and once you add the clip you just have to press instead of like adding it you know like beside it when you're about to pick it there's three dots you just have to press on the three dots and go down to green um green screen slash blue screen and then once you go onto that it'll go onto your screen like this and the green will be gone it's really simple and easy to do this and it's something that i actually learned last night i actually filmed this video um yesterday and now i'm refilling it that's why the video is coming up a bit more later because I learned this and I think it's so so good and it makes you look like you're a professional and the next thing we're moving on to is how to get different writing on the screen so basically all you have to do again for this is get Fonto and then once you go into Fonto you want to pick a green background you can search up green screen on YouTube and just get a picture of that or you can just change it to green um so once you have your green background all you have to do is go into the text all I have to do is press on the screen and then I'll press add text when to press add text, all I have to do is write down what you want to have on like the screen. And then once you have that down, um, all you have to do is save the photo, go into like iMovie and you can, of course you can customize your own fonts, change the fonts, whatever you wanted to. But well, yeah, once you finish that, like with the colours and all, you go back into iMovie once the photo is saved and then you press green screen to blue screen before you add it you just press the tree dots again and that will come up and it comes up as normal writing so it's really really simple and easy to just do steps and I think they're so so professional like they look so good I feel like on my videos and I'm only starting to build up my editing now because I've only had my YouTube channel over a month as well so that's why I'm trying to build myself up the next thing is to how like zoom in on someone's face or like the zoom in and come back out all you have to do is go onto the video that you want you just press on it and then press split so once you press on the video on iMovie there will be a little thing that says split you can split your finger through or just press split um and then once you do that all you have to do then is go onto the opposite side of the clip like and keep the clip that you want to zoom onto the face in the middle and then you split on the, that side so in the middle then it's just the clip that you want to zoom on, on your face um so you just zoom in then so you press on the screen and then you press like the little magnifying glass and then you press and zoom it in to whatever way you want it it's really simple and easy to do it so it'll be more better like if you guys want to try it and it's really really simple and so easy we'll be going back to editing in just a minute but i just want to talk about thumbnails before i minute and take a break of editing so how i make my thumbnails is i go onto fonto and fonto is a free app that you download in the app so the same as iMovie picklage everything all the apps that I use is free. Um, you can upgrade to premium, which some people like to do. But if you're just a beginner and you're not, I'm um, gonna like you don't want to pay for anything yet. All you have to do is just use the normal one. It's absolutely fine. 
Um, so basically what I go on to is Fonto first. I can take like my um, picture and whatever from my thumbnail. Definitely never going to use that one. But yeah, you take a picture of your thumbnail or whatever and then what you do is you put it into iMovie and then once it's in iMovie you can decorate it with so many stuff and it's super duper easy just to decorate it with a bunch of different stuff and um like emojis and stuff i have to just save little pictures as well to your camera roll and then you can zoom in and out to the sides and change the font and add writing as well like it's super super easy with that and then if you do want to do like a collage you can get pic collage which is free to download an app store as well um but you can also do collages on um fonto but if you feel like it's more easier to do on pic collage you can do that as well they're two like really good apps to use for thumbnails um, so yeah, that's why I use this Fonto for my thumbnails and sometimes Picklash and these are great apps. You can add anything and it looks really professional for your thumbnails. And I feel like you want to have a good thumbnail because if I go onto a YouTube video and I don't see a good thumbnail, I won't want to watch it because I find like that will just be boring and I won't end up watching it. So always remember to have a good thumbnail as well for your YouTube videos. So next tip is to, if you're videoing stuff, make sure to have some videos laid out kind of and ready to be filmed because if you don't you're just going to be rushing into things and you're not going to be prepared to have a good video so what i do is on my notes i just write a bunch of video ideas down and it's super super easy just to write loads of video ideas down and have that ready there for you for when you want to film a youtube video instead of just getting everything randomly together it won't be a good quality video like if you're just going to smash things together and just upload it then it's not gonna be good so once you have videos prepared i find that's a really good step to you know build up your channel as well because then you have videos like ready and pre-ready for when you want to film the next thing up is how to add like little pictures like this on my screen so imagine if i was talking about a sponsor which i've never gotten a sponsor yet hopefully someone will sponsor me you know my email down in the description business only um so basically if you want to get pictures on your screen just if you're doing a sponsor if you want to put like a picture of like an app like iMovie you want to put that on your screen all you have to do is you save the photo you can crop it whatever up in Fonto I sometimes crop it in Fonto or add like little text onto it if I want to and then what I do is I go back onto the video and then I press add then I add a picture that I want and then um, you can use like little pop sounds which you can just screen record on YouTube like like them kind of sounds on YouTube. Um, you can just screen record them but if you don't want any sounds that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah you just press add image and then you just go into the little corner one. I think it's picture and picture I'm not quite sure. It's one of those and you just add the picture in and then it'll pop up on your screen. And it's really super easy to do that and that's one thing that i learned as well like I'm, i learned so many stuff guys i'm still learning and you guys out there are probably still learning as well so the next thing up is how i get music for my intros outros or just during the background on my videos so basically what i do is i search up on youtube aesthetic um non, non copyright music and a bunch of them comes up and then you just get to the description and they're all linked down in the description your screen record i do and then if you want to add it into your iMovie all you have to do is press um on the little plus button and then when you press on the plus button you go into your videos and then you press on that press the three dots of the video that you want to pick then you should see audio only and then you press audio only and then it just does the audio for you and it's in the background for you whilst you're filming and it's really super easy to add the music as well and i feel like sometimes if you're filming a video like this and people want to Instead of me just talking, it's something in the background that you can listen to as well. So it's not just me blabbering for this video. That would kind of be a bit boring. So, um. And another thing that you can do to try to get good angles in your video, just by like a little tripod or something if you want good angles. A little stage light as well. And I know some things you can get on like eBay aren't too expensive. Like, um, you can get tripods on email. On email? Mm, on eBay. And they're really, like, some of them you can find are quite cheap. But some of them you can get and they're so so expensive so just try to find 
you will find cheaper ones for good quality just look at like the reviews on it as well and that's one thing that you should definitely do is look at the reviews because sometimes you'll go on to it buy something and then it'll just come and it's really really bad quality so make sure you check on the reviews as well that's one main thing check reviews for good stuff like stage lights and stuff and i don't know whether ikea actually has stage lights um, but once it opens back up, that's one thing I want is a stage light because the lighting on my videos cannot be good. I try to order things online, but it's so much money. It's like in the hundreds and if you're only starting off as well, you can try to use window lighting. You can try to use just different lighting from your house, like natural lighting. But if you want to, you know, step up your lighting a bit, try to find a stage light that I'm trying to do. But try to get on an affordable price as well. And guys, one other tip is that if you have an Apple um, MacBook or whatever, like any Apple product that's kind of like a laptop more to the side, leaning to the side of a laptop, if you have like money and you're like, oh, I want to buy a laptop for helping out my editing. On a laptop, I watch so many people and there's so many more effects and so many more free upgrades to get if you have an Apple laptop. And of course, iMovie only works for Apple products as well. So um, that's one thing that you have to keep your eye out for is that don't buy an on Apple product if you're looking for, for just your iMovie editing. It only works for Apple products. So if you want to buy a laptop, it's so, so good. And it actually looks like you're doing Final Cut Pro. Like I watched this girl for one of her videos and she said she edits for iMovie and I couldn't believe her because it was, the editing was amazing and it was so, so good. So if you want to do like different, um, adding stuff on, try to save up for maybe like a MacBook. And I know they are quite expensive, but if you want to save up, um, you can use that. And same with like other things. If you don't have the money yet for it, then you can just save up and hopefully you're able to get it in the future. Hey guys, um, that is all for this video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for all the support on my channel. And I do have a lot more secret tips for you guys. But I need a lot of support on this video if you do want to see a part two of this. Because I don't want to be revealing a lot of these editing secrets if I don't want to get um much replies back from them so just comment down below if you did like these editing tips and if you like them then i will do a part two so yeah guys peace out and i'll see you guys